YouTubers and vinyl community. I'm your man DJ Funk and welcome to the Funk Cafe. Yes, you know you're always welcome here when I'm on. Yes, just down here chilling. Today, we're going to talk about a group called Sky. A great R&B, funk, boogie, disco band. They everything across the board. And this group was phenomenal. You don't hear a lot of people talk about this group, Sky. This group had hard bass driven songs, guitar rhythms, power drums, and I can't say enough. Those vocals. From three lovely sisters. So let's get right into this group called Sky. Their first album, self titled album, Sky. Just, just look at the cover. When you see this, if that don't tell you something's going to be going on inside this jacket, you, you don't know funk. You don't know. Uh, disco, you don't know R&B, you don't know Boogie, you don't know anything. If this cover don't get you excited. This album dropped 79. First time around was the airplay on here, but this whole damn album was fire. These three ladies, sisters. And man, they could blow. For those who don't know what that means, they can sign. Yes, Denise, Bonnie, and Dolores. Dunny is their last name. These women can sign. Uh, Randy Muller, he was the creator of this group. If you don't know that name, if you know the uh, Brass Band, uh, Brass Construction, that was his band. And actually, these girls used to sing uh, backup in Brass Construction, but the band was so big, decided to break these girls out and they formed Sky. And great album, right out the gate. The second album, Skyway. They're on a South Soul uh, label with the production company of Alligator Bitham. That was uh, Randy Miller and Solomon Roberts. That was their production company, Alligator Bitham. On this uh, album, they had a song called High. And, but the cut on here that DJs fell in love with was Sky Zoo. Bad. This group with these girls were phenomenal. I'm gonna get into what really destroyed them after I show this next one, Sky Park. See how you can stay in them with the, the space, the airlines, just they were just great. On here, they had to cut here's to you, uh, super love. Uh, can't get enough arrival for the first time. Take it easy. My son won't shine. Just just phenomenal music. Bass driven, like I said. The guitar rhythms, the, the drums, the vocals. Just, just crazy. Now, they came right at that tail end where... They were doing all this disco suck bullshit and just really just mess that type of music up. That whole thing kind of pisses me off because here you had a group of people that didn't like it. So they form a campaign to uh, uh, 
say it sucked. And you'd be surprised how many people were sheep and just followed that. I don't let nobody tell me what the hell I'm supposed to like and what the hell I'm supposed to listen to. But you'd be surprised in this world how many people are sheep, you know, just fall right along with the dumbness. But I guess it's America. You can do what the hell you want to do. Apparently, that's what's going on. The next album, Skyline. Now, this album, uh, you might could say, was their biggest because it had the song Let's Celebrate and Call Me on here. So, but if you're a DJ, the song on here was When You Touch Me. That was a ballad that, oh, we plucked off this album for those Mellow Night Mood DJ nights. It was back then we had a saying on those nice ballads. We had, you know, you say, that's a panty dropper. I mean, it worked both ways, you know. You know, the fella said, man, I had, I threw that on, man, it was a panty dropper. And the girls, did tell the girlfriend, girl, when you put that on, you know I had to drop them. So that was what we call those real good slow jams, you know, panty droppers. But that was a great album. Next album, Skyjammer. Now, by this time, they, they were just rolling. This was 82. This was 81. They were just rolling right along. And I told you, the first album uh, came out in 79. So if you look at that. They had four albums within, what? Oh, this is 82. So they were just rolling. And that just goes to show you the production and, 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 and the artistry that these uh, people had. I mean, they were rolling. And, and they were just making good music. They just fell into that disco suck and things were changing and hip-hop was coming on. And people just kind of abandoned them. But pure... Uh, uh, people that love great music and great vocals, they stayed with them. They didn't care about all that noise. The next album, Skylight. This 83. You know, and like they didn't have what you call like hits coming all off this, but it was still great music. Bad Boys, uh, Show Me The Way, Hey Girl, uh, She's Gone. Just songs like that. I mean, these girls were singers. They were pure D singers. I mean, and, and that's what made this group Sky. I mean, the musicianship was great. That's what made it. The next album, Inner City. By this time, that's when the record company, I think he got sold. This is, I think, yeah, the last album on a South Soul uh, label. And things were just really going south for them, you know. But another great album because, like I said, it was the girls. It was the same musicians. It was the same people. It was Sky, and he was still kicking out great music, you know. Just like radio uh, just wasn't uh, showing them love. But if you was the kind of person that get hooked with a group, you follow that group, you go to the record stores, you do what you got to do. When I saw it, I grabbed it because it was Sky. And I knew it was going to be good singing, good music. The next album, From the Left Side. Now, they charted with this one. And the song was called Giving It To You. This was uh, on Capitol. Because, like I said, by that time, that label, it was, it was a mess. And he got dropped. So, they went to Capitol. And he scored with Giving It To You. But they had Love Attack, nonstop. Uh, non-stop, uh, song, song, big fun. It just had uh, tell her you care. Just great, great, great songs because these girls, the group, they gel well together. So when he came out with an album, I don't care if it didn't score and make hits. It was great music because they were a great band. Now here. The Gat with Atlanta. 
because by this not being the big success Capital One, of course they cut them loose. So they drop in on Atlanta Records and start of a romance. You know, it scored, it, it got on the charts for them. So they felt that they were back in business, you know, doing anything. They had a nice slow ballad on here called Real Love that scored for them as well. But, you know, they thought they were going to, you know, see the sun again. But, of course, the last album, Sky, Near to You, it charted out on CD. I wish it would come out on vinyl. But, I got it. Number 10, Near to You. Great album as well. All these albums were great. They just got caught up in that bullshit of that disco suck kind of thing and people just being good little sheep. Oh, I'm gonna follow it. I'm gonna go with it. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. That's good music. Good singing. Good musicianship. I guarantee you. You pick up any one of these albums and drop that needle, you're gonna love Sky. Sky was an excellent great group and I'm just glad I wasn't a fool and a sucker to follow the rest of those disco suck kind of people because hey for as I can start, they don't want missed out on great music I felt like I should drop the needle just to let people you know I'm gonna drop the needle just to show you just give you a sample. And I'm going to drop it right in the middle. Just to show you that these girls could blow. Just check this out. records are not expensive because nobody has no respect for them. But once you start playing them, I guarantee you, you will. So with that said, I'm your man DJ Funk. you always welcome here in the Funk Cafe and you know what I'm about to say. I'm out.